Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the MicroMastering Supply Chain Management Completion Celebration event. Today, it's my pleasure to convene the staff who make this program possible, and also my pleasure to congratulate you, the 462 new credential holders, those of you that just completed last November the comprehensive final exam and the entire MicroMaster program. You are now part of a growing community of learners. We have 500, almost 500,000 unique learners, about 1 million of class enrollments in 65 supply chain course runs, and 3,000 435 credential holders. And you are now part of this elite group of credential holders. And we want to congratulate you and celebrate with you and your families your big achievement. So let me start the event. Uh, thank you, the staff, the staff who make this program possible. Um, I want to say that uh, this team is truly a pas passionate and committed team. Uh, these are uh, the, the persons that are behind the scenes making this program possible. I'm referring to our passionate and committed course leads. I'm referring to Emma, to Dave, to Laura, to Kellen, and to Paolo. I also want to say thank you to those who are answering your emails and are behind the screens, like Bedrie and Arthur and Connor and our amazing teaching assistants, the former teaching assistant and the current teaching assistant. We have here Riley, Git, David Park, and also Cheng and many others, many others that are uh, in working in the world now. So thank you to all of them. And of course, I want also to thank our alma mater and director of the program, Chris Kaplis. So now you are going to hear directly from Chris to congratulate you and to learn a little bit more about this program. So Chris, the floor is yours. All right. Thanks, Ava. Thank you, everyone. Um, congratulations, you guys, for finishing and uh, uh, completing the CFX. I'm, I'm really impressed with you guys. When I started filming the first videos, SC1X, week five was the first videos I created. I guess it's week four now. Um, in the summer of 2014, I was hoping to get, you know, a thousand or two people to take the course. Um, it was mainly just because I'd been teaching it at that point for about 10 15 years, and I thought it'd be good to share with the world. And when we got 30,000 people to register for the first time, mostly as an audit, not too many verified the first time, um, we saw that we had something. And so then we started creating additional courses, but it wasn't until 2015 when President Rafael Reif started the MicroMasters and we were the very first one, we were the guinea pigs and we volunteered to do that. And so then we created three more courses in under 18 months, which is pretty unprecedented. And we were able to expand the team. So it moved from being just a one, two person thing because the first course that was run was me and a halftime TA. So the team has gotten much better, stronger and bigger since then, of course. And then when Ava came on board in 2016, things really picked up speed. And so the team you see now is what it takes to run these courses. And it's so impressive to see what happens. Uh, while I might be on all the videos, I'm just a small player in the effort that it takes to create these courses to make sure that you're getting the engagement that you're wanting and you're learning. Um, it takes more effort, I think, what you guys have done to achieve and finish the MicroMasters than the effort we put in to create them. And so again, hats off to you guys, congratulations. I also have to thank our team members at edX and uh, who's the, the platform that we've been using and MITx, specifically Dana Doyle, who's been there since the very first a lesson, Shira Fruchtman, who started with our, she was our, our first course she ran was uh, SC1X at that time. Uh, David Choten, who still is heavily involved in what we're doing. And Lana Scott, who's responsible for all the video preparation that we've done over the last seven years. So again, congratulations to you guys. Congratulations for the team. Ava, your team's fantastic for getting this and making this ninth cohort of CFX MicroMasters uh, credential holders out. And uh, you're joining a large family. And once the COVID crises start settling down, and we start traveling again. I'm looking forward to get across the world and meeting with everyone in person as we move across. So with that, I'm going to hand it back over to you, Ava, to talk about some of the statistics and put things into perspective. Congrats again, guys. 
Thank you, Chris. You are an inspiration for the entire team. Thank you for that. Okay, so <laughs> now let's have a look to the to the statistics because, as we said, first this take a village, but you are now part of an big community of learners. So we have about 500,000 unique learners enrolled in at least one of our supply chain courses. From these uh, learners that are enrolled, about 40,000 are verified learners. From these 40,000 learners that are verified, about 17,000 learners earn a certificate. These are unique learners. And now let's have a look to this part. This is where you are now part of. You are part of an elite group of MicroMasters credential holders, 3,435 credential holders. Those who have completed with us the five courses and the comprehensive and final exam at the end of the journey. So this is the group you are part of. Let's have a look now to the uh, how how young these people are. So you are part of a, of a really a young group of people. Most of you are in between 20 and 30 years old. Um, I'm also happy to see that uh, the percentage of females is growing. And now we have about 20% of our credential holders are female. So I'm happy to see this percentage growing and growing. And I also encourage more uh, females and women to join the program and complete the program. So let's uh, have a look now to our professionals because most of our credential holders are professionals. More than 80% of the credential holders are working in many different companies. We have here professionals working at Amazon, at Unilever, Procter & Gamble, at DHL, at uh, Ernst & Young, and many other different companies. And the role that our professionals and our credential holders uh, have in those companies, mainly they are managers or directors or leading groups, individual contributors. And when we ask our credential holders why you decided to take this program and complete it, most of them, or most of you told us because you want to have a promotion, because you want to apply to a job in this uh, very um, amazing and um, exciting uh, field that is supply chain management. That is a field that is more important now than ever. We are in the news almost every single day. So it's a great moment to join this field and also to contribute to this field with the knowledge you get through this program. So um, in terms of the, um, let's go to the next slide. In terms of where are you from? It's amazing for us to see that you are part of a truly global community of learners. We have here more than 190 countries represented with our credential holders from many different uh, countries. We have, of course, uh, professionals and credential holders from the United States. We have many from India, from China, from Europe, but also for small countries across the world. So it's uh, truly great to see uh, that you are almost from uh, any part of the world. I, I think that the only continent that is not represented here is Antarctica, but the, the rest, definitely, uh, we have some credential holders from those different continents. So this is uh, great to see. So with that, uh, I also want to highlight the multicultural thing of this program, a multi-language thing. Most of our uh, credential holders speak English, for, of course, you take the program in English. Most of them are, are also Spanish speakers, but we have uh, uh, credential holders that speak many different languages, uh, Mandarin, French, Dutch, uh, Hindu, and many other Russian, and many other languages. And, and, and this is great, definitely. We, did the effort to start translating some of our transcript in, in the first course to Chinese and to Spanish. And hopefully we are going to move into adding more languages to our program. It's truly amazing to, to see this multicultural and multi-language uh, community of credential holders. Okay, so with that, what I want to do now is to turn it over 
to the staff members. I want then to congratulate you and to share with you some of the fun things that happen uh, when they are running the program. I'm going to start uh, giving the floor to Dr. Ima Borrella. Ima is one of our most experienced course lead. She joined the program in September 2017 and has been contributing in many ways. So Ima, the floor is yours. Thank you, Eva. So first off, congratulations to all the credential holders who just finished. We are so proud of you. As a course lead, I have seen an amazing commitment from learners to finish the program. We know that it takes a lot, particularly when it comes to the comprehensive final exam. So it's been great to teach you and support you throughout your MicroMasters journey. Today, I would like to recognize the amazing job that our community teaching assistants do in supporting the program. CTAs are MicroMasters learners from all around the world who volunteer to help us moderate the forums and answer all of your questions, even the toughest ones. Sometimes, um, as you know, the, the edX platform does not work properly and our CTAs just go section by section in every course, just clicking on each forum box, looking for new questions or follow-up questions. And this shows how committed they are to helping you. CTAs are the backbone of our student support system and the program would not be the same without their selflessness, their dedication and their unique contribution. To thank to all of them. Dave, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Ima. I, I echo everything Ima said about our CTAs. We are all so happy for, for you all, the learners and, and the CTAs. Uh, thank you for your help. But I want to take one second to, to be happy for another group too. We know how much time you spend to complete this program, to get this far in your journey, something like 10 to 15 hours every week. You all have other obligations in life too, family members, parents, children, loved ones, pets. And for you to give us 10 to 15 hours per week means that they didn't get that time with you and, and you didn't get that time with them. So I wanna make sure we take a pause to recognize that this is a project bigger than all of us. And, and the achievement is yours, but it was not achieved solely by you. You had a lot of people making that space in your schedule so that you could do it with us. So, so thank you to your families that were part of this, this achievement that we're all celebrating today. I'd like to go uh, next to Laura. Thank you, Dave. And hi, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here today. And uh, again, proud of you. We know most of you were not only MicroMaster students along this journey, but you were also full-time workers. And that's a combination that requires a huge level of effort and commitment. Thanks for trusting us with your lifelong learning goals. We often get contact by credential holders sharing how they succeeded in their latest interview due to their new supply chain management toolbox or how they got the promotion they were aiming to get. We are very proud of your achievements and we're so glad we get to be part of your stories of success. Please stay connected, apply to be a CTA to share your experience with current MicroMaster learners and enjoy being part of this growing community of credential holders. You are now MIT alumni, so don't be a stranger if you're around MIT. Once again, and we'll never get tired of saying this, congratulations. And Kellen, I'd like to hear from you. Well, hello and congratulations, credential holders. So as Dave and Laura said, we know many of you have families who support you on your journey. Many of you have full-time jobs, and many have other goals and commitments outside of your MicroMasters coursework. So knowing that, I wanted to share a few numbers that reflect the determination and the effort you put into this program. Each course is 13 weeks long. And on average, learners tell us they spend 10 to 15 hours per week on a course. That's over 100 to 150 hours for each course, or up to 780 hours total invested in the full MicroMasters program, including the comprehensive exam. And along the way, countless videos, practice problems, graded assignments, exams, and so many other activities. That is an amazing accomplishment showing determination and commitment. And now you are officially credential holders. Take a rest and congratulations. And on to you, Paulo. Thanks, Kellen. And congratulations, credential holders. Um, the credential we just achieved will surely open new opportunities for you. And one of them is the possibility to apply for MIT's blended supply chain management master's program in Cambridge. I am one of those who were able to graduate from MIT master's program 
through the MicroMasters pathway. And if you are considering that, I definitely encourage you to go for it. Congratulations once more and all of the best. Bedri, can you tell us about this ninth CFX? Uh, thanks, Paulo. Uh, hearty congratulations to all of you. Uh, from the beginning till the end, uh, we know you have overcome all the challenges that came your way in terms of school, work, family, and COVID-19 related issues. Uh, being proctored at the CFX was a huge challenge itself, uh, yet even that uh, time we had fun all together, for example, one of you didn't realize it and uh, your exam was reviewed uh, because your computer was mining Bitcoin in the background. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate the apology uh, and are glad uh, we got it straightened out. Uh, someone else flagged the proctoring uh, because they were talking to themselves in frustration with one of the questions. Uh, we are glad the CFX was a challenge, but yeah, uh, this did it flag uh, you uh, did in the proctoring software. Uh, and of course, we don't have to say what we heard here. <laughs> uh, thanks again for all the efforts uh, that you put uh, along this journey. And now you are a part of uh, this uh, part of this big community. Uh, wish you the best of luck in your future uh, endeavors. Um, the CFX was so much information and data. Uh, here is Connor to share more about the data. Hey, um, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is actually Connor Murkowski. I often work behind the scenes on um, business stuff, uh, and I just want to recognize some of the work that the team does behind the scenes, scenes with data. Uh, as a team, we're actively using data to improve your course experience. We're analyzing email response times. We're looking at grade distribution. We explore problems that might be unfair. We even predict students likely to drop out. So you can see here there, uh, we actually have these weekly dashboards. That's what you're looking at here. We use these every week and we're, we're always working as a team to really improve your course experience. The whole team pitches in, we give presentations every week. We're always working for you guys. Um, so I wanna take a hat off for a second and say, hey, this team is amazing. They're always working for you guys and I, I just love to work with them. Um, anyway, we do have a lot of data. Um, every course run that comes in, uh, we collect massive amounts of data. As an example, in SC1X in 2020, um, every day we were collecting about a half a gigabyte of data from you guys. We try to mine that for different things in order to help you guys. Um, but even if we just find one thing that, that we can help one learner, uh, we, I, I tend to find that to be worth it. Um, anyway, I've been around this program for a long time. And, uh, actually before it was even a MicroMasters. To be honest, I really don't think it should be called a MicroMasters. There's really nothing to micro about it. It's comprehensive and challenging. Uh, Chris brings the heat every week. Uh, the, the course leads are always uh, having good challenging problems. The exams are difficult and, and you guys work your, uh, well, you just work really hard to get, to get it done. And I just wanna congratulate you guys. You guys are fantastic and, and you guys deserve this. Uh, welcome to the MicroMasters credential holding or welcome to, to being MicroMasters credential holders. Uh, I wanna pass it off to the CTA so they can actually uh, talk a bit about what they do in the background. Great, our first CTA is uh, sent us a recording. Felicitas Pam sent us a recording and thanks to Felicitas for being a CTA. So I will play that now. Hi everyone, I am Felicitas and I am one of the community teaching assistants. So congratulations to all of you for completing this MicroMasters. It really takes a lot of discipline, dedication and motivation. So you can really be proud of yourself and your accomplishment. I love to see this diverse group of new credential holders, and this is actually one of the coolest parts of being a CTA for me, reading all the welcome posts during week zero and getting to know you from where you are, what your background is, and what your motivation is for this MicroMasters. It's always inspiring that there are moms getting back on track professionally, business owners looking to improve their operations, or professionals redirecting their career. This diversity really shows that supply chain management is affecting a lot of our daily lives, personally and professionally. So it's really great to have a new batch of credential holders out there that are equipped to help with better and more resilient supply chains for the future. So again, be proud of yourself and enjoy the day. This celebration is yours. Hi, everyone. I am Matthias, and you may already know me also from the discussion forums as one of 
your other um, CTAs. Congratulations, you made it. It is amazing to finally see you having accomplished your MicroMaster credential. You know, I was asked to tell a fun story about being a CTA, and I was thinking about it for a long time, and I came to the conclusion it is not about single fun stories. It is one overall fun story, starting from you in the forum, asking questions, challenging ones. Those have always been a highlight, not only for me. They are the reason there was no course run of the many I was a CTA in where I did not learn something new. And twice a year, the story culminates in you earning your credential. Congratulations again. Thank you. And Arthur, the stage is yours. So it's time for me. So welcome everyone, congratulations, as everyone has said. Um, I just wanted to welcome you to a growing and diverse community, as has been said before. Almost half a million people have enrolled in courses and um, more than 36,000 certificates have been earned by 17,000 people. Um, and you can get an idea of the distribution here. I did this um, distribution yesterday. We have people in Pitcairn and people who are claiming to be from Greenland and the Arctic Circle. So I don't know if those are just uh, the way people are VPNing in or, if there are actually people in those locations who are, are taking the courses, but pretty much every island and every uh, location that I had ever heard of uh, had somebody taking one of our courses. So uh, quite fascinating there. I just wanted to mention also, as I have said in emails before, we have a LinkedIn community, we have a Facebook community, and MIT X has created MIT Open, which is a, a community specifically for credential holders and people within the courses. So it's MIT Open is the only place where we know who you are and you know who we are. The other two communities are pretty much open to the public, but I'd like to invite you all to join the conversation there. Keep in touch. It's one way for you to keep in touch with the course team and, and with each other. And with that, uh, well, one last piece. Um, I would encourage anyone, whenever you can, if you want to, um, to create your own meetup groups. So using the Facebook group, we have people create meetup groups and I can help press buttons and support those groups, but we get uh, people meeting up together in various locations around the world. Back to you, Eva. Thank you, Arthur. And thank you, Felicitas and Matias, um, the entire community of teaching assistant that we have helping our learners. I can't also not, I can't be more proud also of the MicroMaster team for all of your efforts. Thank you for that, that and for helping our learners. And now let's go back to the celebration. Um, we are going to focus on the 462 of you that just completed the entire program and become a new credential holder. This is our largest CFX cohort since we started in 2017. And now what we are going to do is to go through the reel of scrolling names and congratulate by name each of you. So let's go to see that before we wrap up this event. Absolutely. And it goes really fast. So everybody needs to make sure your bandwidth is high and pay attention.
Okay, so congratulations once more to everyone. Keep up the good work. Be always curious. Be always open to learn new things. Um, best of luck on your new endeavors. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations once more. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Stop by MIT when you get a chance. Bring a mask. <laughs>